My camera's all blurry. All right, we're gonna get started with Tech Tuesday here in just a moment. Let me fix my camera. I just woke the puppy. Let's see how this goes today. Look at that, power cleaning off your camera. <laughs> all right, it's 12.01 and let's see. Oh, look at that, that looks even better. There we go. Uh, I always forget that my camera tends to sit on the back of my desk and then I have to move it at the beginning of these. So welcome, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. So excited that you're here. Um, today we're going to talk about teleprompters. Yes. So uh, I can't see your comments just yet. Let me see. All right, heading on. Okay, um, so today we're going to talk about teleprompters. I'm going to demo one. This one in particular, it uh, is it's for the Mac, but really all of them work in very similar ways. I'll talk about a couple things that are a little different with some of the other programs, but this is the one I end up using most often. All right? Are you ready? Let me screen share out, and we'll begin. Maybe <laughs> I can get it started. Uh, okay. Um, hold on, I'm going to move some boxes around. I actually want to share out. I'm going to switch my screen. I'm going to share out my whole desktop. I'm going to share out my whole desktop today. That way you can see all of the all of the pieces as they pop up on the screen. So there's two different parts to this program. All right. So the the program that I can use is down here. It's called Power Prompter Express. So with this, they have a couple different versions. They have a free version um, that you can use and you can with the free version, you can record up to five. You can not record, but you can do up to five minute long things or then they have a paid version. The paid version, I think, is fifty dollars. And I'm going to say that I personally probably wouldn't buy the paid version of this. I would stick to the free version unless you really, 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 really love it. And even then there's other teleprompter uh, apps out there that um, might be a little bit better for the cost. And I'm gonna talk about a couple features that I think you might wanna check out before you commit to this. But again, I just use the free version. Um, if I'm doing longer stuff, sometimes I'll just pause it, I'll do another script and then I'll just edit the video together. It does take a little bit more work, but... Um, you can choose what you what you prefer. So I'll show you a little bit of how this works. So this is the Power Prompter Express uh, main screen. In here, you can see the black box. You can see the arrow flashing right here. And in this, I usually um, will type out my script. So this is where the script will go. Um, and you just type it out like normal. If you have it in another document, you can cut and paste and I will show you just cut and paste and you can just plop it down right in there. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to make this longer so you can see the full demo as it gets going. The interesting, I'll say interesting, interesting thing about teleprompters is they take a little bit of work to when you start using them to really figure out how um, you present your pacing, your style, all of that. And so that's what I'm going to give you some ideas in is how to set up these teleprompters to really work the best for you so that you're making the prompter work for you and you're not having to work for this teleprompter. Lots of different settings that you can go in here. But when you do the idea of the teleprompter, right? I'm going to push play just so you can see it, is that things scroll up the screen and you can read it. All right. Um, there's a lot of different settings in all the teleprompter apps that I have found to do different things in them. So one of the things that you're going to have to do is make some adjustments. You need to figure out where, in general, you want to look like you're staring into the heart of your audience. So when I do videos, a lot of times I will test out things. I'll be like, okay, this is me looking at the bottom left of the screen. This is me looking directly into the camera lens. This is me looking right below the camera lens. This is me looking, you know, this is me reading the text of my teleprompter, right? And then I go back and watch the video and I say those words out loud so that when I watch the video, I can be like, oh, that is when my eyes were in the left corner. 
That is when I'm looking at the camera, that is this, and see where my eye position looks best. So first of all, that's what you need to know when you're setting up your teleprompter is where is your visual that still looks like you're engaging with your audience, okay? So if I look directly into the camera lens, I find that because of the position of my chair, it doesn't look as right as if I look just below it. <laughs> Though when I'm doing these, I'm often looking at my screen at what I'm doing at the same time I'm talking to you. So um, one thing, so first of all, figure out where your eyes look. And the reason you want to do this is because you can set your teleprompter. So I'm going to move it around on the screen to be where it needs to be. Not everybody's cameras are sitting right on top of maybe the, their computer. Some people I know mount their cameras, um, you know, back up on the wall, up a little higher, right? So just play around with it. The second thing that you're going to need to do um, is when you test record, so you figured out kind of where your eye point placement needs to be, you can adjust these words, right? So sometimes um, I don't like as many words on the screen and you can adjust what that looks like. Uh, so hold on one second, close out of this. I'm going to go back here. So you can adjust um, how many words are on the screen. You can adjust your margins, right? Your words per line. So it, you, you, this will help you because again, when you're reading from a teleprompter, you really um, don't want to look like you're reading. And if the text this long on your screen, your eyes will track like this through each line. <laughs> and then when people are watching your video, they're going to watch you, your eyes just tracking. So it's good um, to have your text a little bit more tight. You have to decide on the size you like. You have to decide on how wide it's going to go. I know some people that they will put like only maybe two words. I tend to have three to four words per line, uh, much like it's set up now. And um, so that way the words are only about this wide and I can kind of see them in, in my line of vision. Okay. So first of all, your eye gaze, where is it at? Second of all, the how wide your text is going to is going to be okay um and most teleprompters apps have all of these settings um that are very similar so words per line right if you look like this i would be reading like this <laughs> um you know if it's too big you might be reading a little bit faster or slower and and again that's what you're going to have to play around with um the scroll speed is how uh how fast and stuff it will go up. I don't usually adjust mine here. I adjust it in a different place. So I will show you that in a minute. And then you can see the general runtime it's going to be. If you're trying to stick to two minutes. You know that if you need to talk faster or slower based on um, your speed, right, of everything. All right. And then the next thing is the flip. So <laughs> you may say, why would I want to see this upside down? But if you've ever, if maybe you're putting this on your iPad or your device, right, and you flip and sometimes it's flipping, it's really nice because it, it will flip. Also, some people will um, set their teleprompter um, and they'll do, uh, they'll make shift like a second teleprompter. It's made out of glass. So the way it reflects, so you actually, it projects upside down, but it shows right side to you and you can have it really right in front of everything. It's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do another demo on that at some other point. I know someone who set one up and it was really cool. Maybe I can get her to come in here and talk to you about how she set that up. Um, but that's why you would want it the same as the flip horizontally. So it just depends on how you have set up. If you're like me, you're just going to be in front of the camera talking. <laughs> you're probably is going to go with a regular script like this, like what you see here. A couple other options before we even start showing the scroll is um, you can see the alignment, the background color. So the black on white is um, sort of, I'll say the traditional method for a lot of, a lot of um, teleprompter apps, but you can change that to anything you like. If you prefer the blue, it's kind of bright for me. I tend to stay in the blacks or even the darker grays, um, but you have to decide what you like. You can change the text color as well as the font style um, in here. Okay, this particular app has um, a really cool feature. It has some overlay. I think a lot of them have it. And this is, again, a stylistic thing of what you prefer in yours, but you can fade in. So if you notice that 
the text at the top and the bottom is now just slightly darker. It's a little bit harder to see. So it's really bright as to the words that you're going to be maybe saying at that moment. Um, you can also highlight. So it's kind of, you know, this is what's highlighted. So, you know, these are the words that you're, you know, saying at that moment. This is good if you have very technical stuff and you don't want to get lost. Uh, it might be really great because you kind of keep a, this is what I'm reading. The other um, one is a one line blackout. So you can't see what's coming. I personally don't like this one. I leave the whole thing up as as this. Um, but when you have the one line blackout or even the three line blackout, you can only see that. And when I use teleprompters, I tend sometimes I'll be just a little faster because I'm like, oh, I know this part really well. And I'll talk a little bit faster. And this I feel like then I wouldn't know what was coming up next, you know, because I would be like already down there and I'd be like, oh, what was I going to talk about next? Where when I can see the whole entire thing, if I happen to be a little bit faster, I'm like, oh, this is what the next part that's coming as I'm waiting for it. Um, and you can also do the opacity of some of this stuff as well, right? So if you just want it to not be as dark. Again, it all comes in um, personal preference. So I'm going to go back here. Um, the last option that they have, and you'll find this on almost all teleprompters, is the display. So the display is really great because if you have two screens, two monitors, or you're going to display this maybe on your TV so that you can, you know, hook things up and you can be in a different background, right? You can show the teleprompter on a certain thing and you can adjust things as needed for that. All right. I'm going to flip back in Facebook, see if anybody has any questions, then I want to give you some other tips and tricks. You guys, I see my whole Facebook here. Hold on. Perlette, thanks for providing so much value. Of course, Leanne, I need this on the road. Yep, catch the rewatch, the rewatch, the replay. Um, oh, you said rewatch. That's why I said it. <laughs> yeah, so awesome. I'm glad this is helping out. Let me know if you have questions. So the other thing, again, is figuring out your size. So I usually flip into when you go to play it, look how fast it's going, it changes a little bit. Like this particular program doesn't play from that other screen. It brings up this other pop-up window, which is why I showed you my whole desktop this morning. I find that I present really well between 18 and 22 is my speed on, on here. Again, you have to figure out what your speed is, but I will show you, this is at 18%. So this is where the script will go, right? This is where the script will go. Make this longer so you can see, and that's actually a little slow, right? So I might speed it up just a little bit, probably closer to 21%. I'll show you the difference. And literally, we're talking about only 3%, but hold on, Let's scroll so you can see this. This is 21%. So this is where the script will go, right? This is where the script will go. And then I have a pause because I have a paragraph mark. This is longer, so you can see the full demo as it gets going, right? So you're going to have to play around with it. I still have it a little bit big for me. I would probably make it a little bit smaller. Um, the other things is if you know kind of how many words per minute, you can adjust it. Understanding that where speech is, you know, if you're down at, if you're, I'll say down at, because typical, you know, we speak 140, 160 words a minute. Some of us talk really fast. But when you're doing things like delivering content, you want people to learn fast is not always better. <laughs> so slowing it down some, and even though it feels really slow for you, making it impactful for people. You don't want it slow, slow that people are like, give me the information, come on, you're just going. But you have to figure out that pacing in the way that you deliver your content and making it impactful. So I have to be really cognizant. I think on these lives, I talk really fast and I'm like, ah, oh, Eric, you got to slow down. Um, and if I slow down and go at a better pace, it actually is, um, you know, better for the user experience. So teleprompters are really good because they help keep you on a really nice pace where you're not talking too fast. Um, let's see. Okay, some of the other things I was going to talk to you about in the teleprompter stuff. Oh, I'm going to show you this. If you happen to use this software, they have a lock button. 
so that you can then scroll in here. If you don't have it, when you go to scroll, sometimes it adjusts the percent. It's just a nuance about this program. Um, and you can adjust some of the other things. If you don't like all that red, you can take it off here. Um, and they have several other adjustments um, that are made in here. So you can remove the time markers and you know the different pieces. Um, but when you go to edit, you won't be able to edit on the screen. You have to close it and go back and edit here and then replay it. And that's just a nuance again with this program. I really wanted to just show you kind of how the words per lines are set up and the speed and the pacing is set up. All right, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. I'm going to pull up and see if make sure there's no questions. And the last thing that um, I want to share. So some of the benefits of other teleprompter apps is that they will track when you're talking and when you stop talking, the teleprompter will stop and pause. And the beauty of that is if you're presenting and you need a second and you stop, right, that stops where this one will just keep going. So you really have to be able to pace out your own stuff. And the other idea is when you're doing the teleprompters, if you know you want a long pause, you can put extra spaces in there. So that way, as it's scrolling, right, there's basically that pause between the paragraphs that's scrolling as well. Um, you saw I had that one little line break between my two paragraphs. So I, you know, make sure if I want to butt things up, I do that. I will sometimes put dot, dot, dot if I know that I want like an emphatic pause. Um, occasionally I will put things in parentheses like really emphasize this or I'll write things in caps. So I know that when I'm talking like, oh, this is something that I wanted to do different with the tone of my voice or how I present. If it's like a really dramatic pause, right? I'd probably put some, the dot, 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 the ellipses, isn't the ellipses in there. So um, I hope this helps in just getting some ideas about how you can use a teleprompter. It's really great for being able to stay on track to deliver a professional um, presentation. And it allows for you not to use the filler words. Like I use um a lot. There's a couple other things I use a lot. And so it allows you to just really be able to flow it's great for highly technical stuff. And if you have your notes like in, in Keynote and you're doing your presentation, it's very similar to that, but these are scrolling at a specific pace. So with that, happy Tech Tuesday. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out the Epic Elite Club, please, please, please do it. Uh, we're only gonna have founder rates for uh, a little while longer for people that wanna come in there. So if you're enjoying this club, that club is just starting to heat up. We're doing amazing things. We have co-working hours this week. We have coaching hours next week. We have some trainings dropping in there and um, we just do a lot more over there. So come and check it out. Let me know if you have questions. It's uh, thriveepic.com slash epic, I think underscore elite underscore club. Probably should have just that make it easier, but that's where you can find it. I hope you have a great day, everybody, and I will see you next Tuesday.